Let's talk about filmmaking. So we are back, we are back, we are back, we are back, we are back. And it's been what? One, two, three, four, four weeks since my last video. And today we are going to talk about the Aperture 300D light. The Aperture 300D light with 2.1 kilogram. It comes in a well packaged bag where everything fits perfectly. In the bag, we have a protector, a reflector, yeah. a control board, a power box three different power cables, a nice remote control. Right now, in my studio, I have the Aperture 300D light as my key light, the newer subboards as my fill light, and the newer one by one LED light as my backlight. And this is at its lowest intensity. And if we start increasing it to 100, this is how strong, how high this light can go. And this is, even with the light to some box. The few things that I like about this light is the building quality. It doesn't look cheap at all. It's made of aluminum, right? It doesn't really heat up. And even if it does, it has some um, fans that cool the whole light down. And it's really easy to set up. Very easy, very portable, easy to set up. You just take it, clamp it in the on the, on the light stand, get all the cables connected, and you are good to go, right? And uh, and the other thing is, it's dimmable. You can either use the remote control to control the light, or use the control board to, 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 to do it. And overall, the skin tone that it gives you is one of the best on the market right now. And a few things that I don't like about this light, it doesn't power up with one battery. You need two batteries to power up and the cables there are too many of them two control board one power board and one control board too many of them five pins four pins i mean it's it's kind of um gets you confused sometimes but overall i think it's a very good light for the price it goes for all right guys so we've reached the end of our episode today don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel